There aren't many marathon runners. But first of all, you have to be in the race. According to our business legends, it's all about having a go. If you'd like more information on today's show, check out the website at 9MSN. Uh, well, I used to stir the pots. I mean, I, I've been there and done that. I still drive on a, on a, on a truck driver's licence. I've got a fork licence. I can still go down there and make peanut brittle, uh, uh, cook most of the things that are down there. I came into the business from the ground up. And that's how all of the members of the family that have worked in the business. There's nothing very precious or very sacred about me, I can, I can assure you of that. Been there, done that. Tonight it's a brand new Backyard Blitz. At 7.30 it's your stories, your news on 60 Minutes. That's followed by a gripping new CSI Sunday. This morning on Sunday, how an undercover informant with evidence of murder, drugs and gun running in a bikie gang was cut loose by police and had to flee the country. The quest by young Australians to make poverty history and the British Council's Realise Your Dreams competition. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. I'm Ross Greenwood. And I'm Ellen Fanning. Today an extraordinary story of the violent life inside an outlaw bikey gang from an insider who claims he's been abandoned by police, forcing him to flee overseas with his cover blown. He says infighting between law enforcement agencies has allowed crimes to go unpunished and undetected, including a brutal murder which he witnessed. Bill Mooring was tied up on the floor. Uh, on a tarp, there was blood everywhere, there was a bloody hammer. Uh, he had some socks on, the socks were just covered in blood. Middle of the night, it was dark. He was put into the back of the hatchback um, by two people, myself and him, um, thrown in there. He landed on his, on his side, just pulled it out, just went bam. How many shots did he fire? One. Where did he fire the shot into? Into his back, his lower back area. Yes, that powerful and revealing story coming right up. We'll also look at the British Council's Realise Your Dream Prize for Young Australians, the Make Poverty History Push and the Art of Jeans for Jeans. Attorney General Philip Ruddock will be talking to Laurie Oakes and two very different films from Nell Schofield. But first, this morning's news. In what was supposed to be a spectacular show of global terrorism, it's been reported mobile phones in Australia were meant to trigger one of the foiled car bomb attacks in London. British tabloid The Daily Star claims police uncovered the plan during their investigations. Eight people, including Gold Coast Dr Mohammed Hanif, are still being held by police for questioning in relation to the failed attacks in London and Glasgow. Iraqi doctor Bilal Abdallah has been remanded in custody by a London court after becoming the first of the suspects to be charged in connection with the attacks. Meanwhile, Britain has marked the second anniversary of the July 7 suicide bombings with a sombre ceremony outside King's Cross Station. British Prime Minister Gordon Brown joined survivors and relatives of the victims in laying wreaths at a memorial garden. It's, it's very sad, it's very poignant and it's, um, it's another big milestone. 52 people were killed when suicide bombers struck three underground trains and a double-decker bus. 
A suicide bomber has detonated a truck full of explosives in the middle of a busy outdoor market in Iraq, killing more than 100 people and injuring at least 250 others. It's feared many more could be buried under the rubble. Authorities believe Sunni militants are behind the attack, which could be payback for a recent surge in US troops in the capital Baghdad. BBC journalist Alan Johnston has finally been reunited with his family and friends in Scotland following his release from captivity in Gaza. Coming home has just never, never felt so very good as it, as it does today. The 45-year-old spent almost four months at the hands of Palestinian extremists. Daredevil or just plain foolish an Australian is among 100 people injured on the first day of the annual Running of the Bulls festival in Spain. The 36-year-old who hasn't been named was speared in the buttocks and had to undergo emergency surgery. After kicking off in Sydney yesterday, the Live Earth concerts are continuing around the world this morning, from Tokyo to Hamburg to Rio to London. 150 artists are performing to raise awareness about global warming. Former vice president turned environmental campaigner Al Gore has recruited rock stars from around the world to help bang the drum about climate change. Genesis have reunited to open Live Earth in London with a plea to the planet. Hello Wembley Stadium in the world, how are you? The Wembley concert is part of a 24-hour broadcast from stadiums in seven other cities. Sydney, Tokyo, Johannesburg, Shanghai, Hamburg, New York and Rio de Janeiro. By involving some of the biggest acts in pop, Mr Gore has guaranteed a world stage for his global mission. Two billion people are expected to watch the biggest concert in history. And this must be the coolest band on the bill. A group of scientists have performed from an ice station in Antarctica. But the inconvenient truth about an event of this size is that it's not very green. The equipment and lights are power hungry and are the stars with their lavish lifestyles really doing their bit. The Live Earth organisers say electricity is from renewable sources, hybrid cars are being used and air travel has been offset. Live Earth is meant to sound an alarm, a wake-up call about what's happening to the planet. All those performing hope the audience is listening to the message as well as the music. Well, we may think it's one of Australia's greatest icons, but the Sydney Opera House has missed out on being listed as one of the new Seven Wonders of the World. That's despite it being added to the World Heritage List last week. Among those included on the list include the Great Wall of China, the Colosseum in Rome, India's Taj Mahal, the Great Pyramids of Giza and Brazil's Statue of Christ the Redeemer. The winners were chosen by more than 100 million voters online. Did they are not. Well, they are a bit wonderful, that list I just read. You have to think so. You reckon the Sydney Opera House didn't quite cut the mustard anyway, so that's OK. Sports news now with Stephanie Brant. Stephanie, Maria Batola knocked out the number one three seed and the number three seed at Wimbledon, but couldn't knock over number 23 last night. She couldn't. She didn't look quite as impressive up against Williams, but uh, it is official and it is all over for the women. Good morning, everyone. Venus Williams has won her fourth Wimbledon title, beating France's surprise finalist, Marion Batoli, 6-4, 6-1. Williams, who dominated the match from start to finish, becomes the lower seat at 23 to ever win the Grand Slam. Meantime, Roger Federer is on the verge of a fifth successive men's title after downing Frenchman Richard Gasquet in straight sets in the semi-final. The Swiss will play second seed Rafael Nadal in the decider. And Australia's hopes at Wimbledon are still alive. Alicia Mollock is through to the semi-finals of the mixed doubles alongside Swede Jonas Bjorkman to the NRL and Manly has heralded the return of its origin stars smashing the Roosters 56-0 at Brookvale Oval. Most of the points were scored in the second half with winger Michael Robertson running in three tries in 13 minutes. There's a hat-trick in game 100. Halfback Matt Orford also completed his hat-trick with a 55-metre sprint after the final bell. Williams is chasing, he can't get in and Orford's knee is OK. Earlier in the night, the Storm made hard work of beating the Rabbitohs 12 points to 8. While up north, the Cowboys cemented their place in the top four with an 18-12 win over the Warriors. 
AFL and the Brisbane Lions have handed the West Coast Eagles a shock 27-point loss at Subiaco Oval. The win breaks an eight-game losing streak for the struggling Lions. Adelaide also showed a welcome return to form, delivering a 71-point crushing blow to second-placed Hawthorne, while in other round 14 matches, Collingwood beat St Kilda and the Western Bulldogs downed Port Adelaide. And the Wallabies have held on to their spot at the top of the Tri-Nations rugby table after a shaky win over the Springboks in Sydney. After a shocking start, Australia found itself down 17-0 after just 14 minutes, with Silliera's dominating play. Australia eventually regained their composure, ending the match 25-17. Matt Giddo putting a tumultuous week behind him to run in the Wallabies' third try. The game was Stephen Larkham's 100th test and George Gregan's 133rd, the last match on Australian soil for both veterans. Well done, guys. And Australian Stuart Appleby is leading the PGA National in Maryland by two strokes from Korean KJ Choi going into the final round tomorrow. And for all of you and Ross and Ellen, don't forget Wimbledon's men's final tonight on nine. We're watching that. You'd have to think Federer is an absolute shoe in isn't he? You would think. You, think so. you never right. know. <laughs> <laughs> Turning now to the weather around Australia and starting in Queensland's North Cairns, sunny with a top of 22 degrees, windy and 20 in Brisbane, showers in Sydney, a top of 15, 11 in Canberra, possible showers and 14 for Melbourne, Hobart heading for 11 degrees, fine in Adelaide, 16 degrees, 17 degrees today in Perth, uh, 17 and sunny in the Alice, 27 degrees in Broome and clear skies and 30 in Darwin. The weather in London is probably of greater interest though. You would have thought so. Let's hope the rain stays off for the men's final tonight. We'll be right back with our cover story though. An informer tells of life inside an outlaw bikey gang. The beatings, murders, drugs and money and the payback he expects as an informer. Despite the obvious risks, he wants to put his story on the record because he's sure that one day the bikies he ratted on will find him. Are you worried the banditos will get you? They will. Hmm. Are you a dead man walking? Yep. Beauty. Those grooves will get deeper and deeper. Vanity. Once you've got those wrinkles, you've got the better. Pure greed. She's too young. Yeah, she's not. The Botox epidemic. It's been pushed upon young women. It was almost a necessity. How hidden camera proof. <laughs> How they cash in on every woman's desire to stay young. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Plus, set yourself up for life. You're sorry, 40 for me. Average Aussies using real estate to strike it rich. We've got 12 properties. It's easy, anyone can do it. A current affair Monday. you'd ever imagine. They've got one of the biggest networks in the country. Our phone and broadband go all over Australia. They're good for business and they're good for a deal. They go where I go. They were the first round here with super fast broadband. We use their fast broadband and phones. I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm sold. You've got to, got to, got to have sold. Call 1334 44 and never have to talk to Telstra again. Naval oranges, 99 cents a kilo. Juicy lemons, 99 cents a kilo. At Island Markets, fresh produce, fresh prices. Open four days. At only $2.95, you'll love starting your day with a bacon and egg McMuffin. Everyone wants pay TV, but no one wants the price. Now you can pay less and get a lot with Select TV. Lots of movies. Lots of entertainment. Power is enough to lots of news. Have something to say. In fact, a whole lot more for a whole lot less. 22 channels for just $29.95 per month. Visit www.selecttv.com. Select TV. Pay TV with less to pay. Naval oranges, 99 cents a kilo. Juicy lemons, 99 cents a kilo. At Island Markets, fresh produce, fresh prices. Open four days. Come north to Longford and marvel at the heritage-nominated properties of Brickenden and Woolmers. Take the scenic mountain route. 
through Poetina. Tasmanian Trout Expo, 25th and 26th of August, Cressy, Tasmanian Sea Dew and Marine. For all your marine requirements, find peace and tranquility at Longford Riverside Caravan Park. For only $2.99, Hobart Travel will help you experience Longford with this exciting package. Call now on 1-800-990-440. Quantum, for the best in hi-fi components. Bose Lifestyle Systems and Outdoor Speakers. Custom home installation for guaranteed performance. B&W speakers for your home cinema. For the very best for more than 30 years. Quantum. <laughs> Seoul's hottest ever broadband offer. $29.95 with unlimited downloads. Turn your bottom line around. Unlimited downloads. Only $29.95. <laughs> Call 13 34 44 now. Avocados, two for 99 cents. Tasty kiwi fruit, six for 99 cents. At Island Markets, fresh produce, fresh prices. Open four days. Meet the brightest kids in the world. Blindfolded chess champion. Checkmate. Best selling author and the tiny math squiz. X equals minus B. The premiere special of a child genius. Show the kids! Monday at 7.30 on Win. Alpha. Over the years, the Blitz team have planted over 38,000 plants and changed the lives of over 1,500 people. Tonight, add two more people to that, plus their hundreds of plants. And look at what they've collected. It's called the clutter look. Yeah. This is one huge job. Well, I cannot believe how long this has taken. But the results will speak for themselves. Beautiful. <laughs> Fresh new Backyard Blitz, tonight, 6.30 on Win. Whatever your taste, there's a dining setting to suit you at Castles. They have dozens to choose from with a huge range of sizes and finishes. Buy any setting now and receive a free table protector at Castles Furniture, where quality and value reign supreme. It was news to me that the public trustee is Tasmania's longest established provider of estate and trust administration services. It's good news to know that you can make the most of your lifetime and rely on the public trustee. So call them. Most people who die in house fires don't have smoke alarms. No matter who you are, smoke is more likely to kill before you're even aware of a fire. Install smoke alarms now. Wake up to working smoke alarms. That's all it takes. Authorised by the Tasmanian Government Hobart. Everyone wants pay TV, but no one wants the price. Now you can pay less and get a lot with Select TV. 22 channels for just $29.95 per month. Select TV. Pay TV with less to pay. Sunday. Sundays are quiet. Shh. Sundays seem to start later. You should never call a friend before 11 a.m. on a Sunday. Sundays are more rested. You read more on Sundays. At Australia Post, electronic eyes do the reading for us with the help of new technology. We've got tomorrow covered every day. Australia Post, part of every day. Learn to dive for only $45 a week, interest free. Includes your equipment and international paddy open water certificate. Dive now and join the Go Dive adventure. Come north to Longford and marvel at the World Heritage nominated properties of Brickenden and Woolmers. Longford Antiques, you'll never know what you'll find. Play the Longford Skullduggery game and solve a real crime from the 1830s. Relax. Feel special, be indulged. The River's Edge Cafe, Longford News Agency. More than just the news. For only $299, Hobart Travel will help you experience Longford with this exciting package. Call now on 1800 990 440. At some furniture stores, you may think you're buying this. But what you actually get is this, which could end up looking like this. Ready to assemble doesn't always mean cheaper. It won't cost any more at Castles. The ready-to-use store.
this week on Suzy, Shelley Taylor-Smith, Richard Moorcroft, Morgan Evans, Tiffany Wood and Johnny Young, along with snakes, ghosts, women's footy, jeans for jeans, yoga, cooking, hairstyling, martial arts and more. Thanks to Sol, we can diagnose cases hundreds of kilometres away. Sol Broadband helps us teach. We link hospitals, schools, emergency services, businesses. They're totally Australian and totally competitive. Sol delivers medical data at emergency speed. I'm Sol. I'm Sol. I'm Sol. You've got to, got to, got to have Sol. Call 1334 44 and never have to talk to Telstra again. I'm a winter girl. I like the cold. I don't like the heat. We'll keep you warm. That will keep you comfortable. Insulation's good. Heaters. Door seals and draft proof things. Anything you need. Fan heater only $15.98. CSR Bradford R3.5 gold bats $50 per pack. Patio heater $129. Mistral column heater $29.98. Concrete mix $6.28. Hate the cold. Hate the cold. Make me feel old. Bunnings Warehouse. Lowest prices are just the beginning. I'm at the Cascade Hotel in South Hobart, looking for another satisfied finance brokers of Tasmania customer. G'day, Sicey, how are you? G'day, Harry, how are you, mate? Tell me, mate, why do you use finance brokers of Tasmania? Well, we get pretty busy up here in the hotel, and I haven't got time to worry about finance, so for any reason I'll just get finance broker of Tasmania, and they fix the lot for me. And what sort of finance? Oh, commercial here for the hotel, cars, boats, virtually anything. So, for finance of any kind, go where smart people go for loans. Finance brokers of Tasmania. Quantum, for the best in hi-fi components. Bose lifestyle systems and outdoor speakers. Custom home installation for guaranteed performance. B&W speakers for your home cinema. For the very best for more than 30 years. Quantum. Almost half the diesel passenger cars sold in Australia are Volkswagens. Available in both diesel and petrol, the Volkswagen range includes some of the world's safest, most refined and efficient motor vehicles. The Golf TDI delivers 5.5 litres per 100 kilometres. It's a fine example of Volkswagen style, performance, quality and economy. New Golf is priced from just 28840 drive away and is one of the world's favourite cars. See them all now at Jackson Volkswagen in Murray Street, Hobart. Come into Pets Domain this month for these great winter specials. 25% off all live fish. Dog toys buy any one and get the second for half price. Nature's Best 1.2 kilo or Nature's Gift 700 gram canned dog food reduced to $159 or four for $6. Pets Domain for all your pet needs. You'd be amazed how much your carpet can hide. Don't hide it, fight it with Electra Dry. Have three rooms dry clean for only $99. Call 1333-79. Dry, dry, Electra Dry, Electra Dry. Seoul's hottest ever broadband offer. $29.95 with unlimited downloads. Turn your bottom line around. Unlimited downloads. Only $29.95. <laughs> Call 13 34 44 now. Look, personally, I, I love sport. It, it is my life and it has been for a long time. I've played it and I've watched it and now I get paid to do it. And uh, to do it for a living is just uh, magnificent. Win News. Nightly at 6 the latest news headlines. In what was supposed to be a spectacular show of global terrorism, it's been reported mobile phones in Australia were meant to trigger one of the foiled car bomb attacks in London. British tabloid The Daily Star claims police uncovered the plan during their investigations. Eight people, including Gold Coast doctor Mohammed Hanif, are being held for questioning by police in relation to the failed attacks in London and Glasgow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Iraqi doctor Bilal Abdallah has been remanded in custody by a London court after becoming the first of the suspects to be charged in connection with the attacks. After kicking off in Sydney yesterday, the live Earth concerts are continuing around the world this morning. 70,000 people have crammed into Wembley Stadium to see a star studded lineup which boasts Duran Duran, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and Madonna from Hamburg to Rio to Tokyo and even Antarctica. 150 artists are performing to raise awareness about global warming. 
We may think it's one of Australia's greatest icons, but the Sydney Opera House has missed out on being listed as one of the new Seven Wonders of the World. That's despite it being added to the World Heritage List last week. Among those included on the list include the Great Wall of China, the Colosseum in Rome, India's Taj Mahal, the Great Pyramids of Giza and Brazil's Statue of Christ the Redeemer. The winners were chosen by more than 100 million voters online. And finally, she may be known as a desperate housewife but actress Eva Longoria is yet to see that side of marital life after exchanging vows in a civil ceremony with basketball player Tony Parker in Paris. Among the guests, her Desperate Housewives co-stars as well as sports celebrities who attended a ceremony followed by a lavish reception at a 17th century chateau. Clearly not desperate for a dollar, you'd have to say. <laughs> Thanks, Ellen. We'll have a story coming up about the prize the British are offering bright young Australians, how we can all make poverty history, and the famous genes we can buy to help fund research into human genes. And Laurie Oakes will be right up after the break talking to the Attorney General, Philip Ruddock. Little beauty on 60 minutes. Deal yourself into the biggest poker game on earth. Yes. How was he? Joe won 15 million. Let's see how good you are. And with tips like this, you can too. You just whoop the world champ. Also, inside a national treasure, why it's such a dud. It would be a national embarrassment. And jobs galore. Go west and make your fortune. Toyota presents 60 minutes tonight at 7:30. For. You can have it! With a DE Money personal loan. Wow. So do it now! Oh. Because right now our personal loans start from an amazing 10.75%. So say I do to a personal loan and call GE Money on 13 10 24. If you want to lift it, Shift it, move it, push it, pull it, stack, pack or rack it. Toyota Material Handling has a forklift solution to suit your business. Toyota Material Handling. Solutions for every pallet. We've got super cheap broadband in the US. We've got super cheap broadband in the UK. And now we have super cheap broadband in Oz. Thanks to you, Dodo. For broadband from only 990 plus free connection, call Dodo on 13 Bird today. Harvey Norman introduces the new Aristona Qantas range. Front load washers made and designed with style in Italy. Minimum clutter, rounded lines and a door that opens like a book. The ultimate in comfort with easy loading and unloading due to an inclined drum and with super silent technology and flexible washing options. Choose the perfect cycle for woolen squilts even for easy iron shirts. The range includes Australia's first five star water rated washer with a super capacity of 8.5 kg. We'll show you why the Aristona Qantas is deeply different now at Harvey Norman. Yeah! If you plan to retire, relax. Shadforth's expert advisors can design a retirement plan that will grow with you, maximizing your retirement income as you get used to relaxing. Trust Shadforth for tailored financial solutions. Quantum. For the best in Lerva widescreen television, digital TV receivers and hard drive recorders, screenplay home cinema projection, custom home wiring, and exciting flat screen television. For the very best, for more than 30 years. Quantum. Hi, I'm Andrew Jones, and I know travel. Now, here's something I think you're really going to enjoy. Don't miss Andrew's fabulous Fiji family deal. Eight nights at the five-star Fiji Outrigger Lagoon Resort for only $789 per adult, and kids stay and eat for free. Combine this with our great Fiji airfares, and you've got a fantastic affordable holiday just in time for the September school break. Book now. So what are you waiting for? Call Andrew Jones Travel, because we know travel. The one, the only, 40-wing stock take sale is now on. Australia's biggest brand from Australia's biggest bedding specialist, up to 40% off. It's the biggest stock take sale of them all at 40 Winks. Now is the time to buy bedding, bedroom furniture, kids' furniture, Manchester, sofa beds. They're all reduced by up to 40% and interest-free is available. Bedroom furniture, bedding, all the big brands. The one and only 40 Winks stock take sale where dreams begin in Sunday. Australia's new counter-terrorism law...